Good morning, um, uh, Christian and uh, and uh, Miss um, and Miss Allie Griffin. Um, this is the second video. I just wanted to show uh, myself and the pictures. Okay, this is why I'm doing this on on October fifteenth after six. Now I told you um, that I went to um, did sign a contract um, yesterday. Well, this is what I mean. This is uh, the con part of the contract. This is my copy, and the name is Rosemary, part of Wavecrest Management. This is the conversion. But what I want to show you here is that um, what I want to show you here is it's, this is the part where I signed, where I was told by a lawyer on Tuesday, October um, 12th, uh, and, and October 13th, Wednesday, to, to, to mark this off because no inspection was made. I didn't agree that there was lead in there. How can they have lead in here, lead be in here if I didn't let them in? I can't, that means they got to do a sample. That means touching things. And I can't have that while I'm still in here. Numerous letters from private environmental people, from people, um, from doctors that said that um, I do have lead in my blood and mold in my blood and everything, and they said she needs to be relocated. They don't want to relocate because it's money to be made and they gotta figure out what to do with these people. Me being young and disabled, um, low income, and people that are elderly, they gotta figure out in 2023 because this building is condemned where I'm living at and all the other buildings. They gotta figure out where to put us. But they want to force us to sign these new contracts, saying that they're going to put us somewhere. But most of us, if they're sick like me, won't survive that one year. And I'm not going to survive. If they start fixing up this apartment, I'm not going to survive here. I'm going to be dead. I can't be in here when they do the work. It's going to take a year at least to get this work done. Now, I signed, I signed it because she did give me the booklet. Because the lawyer said, said that they didn't give you a booklet, but she said they did. And I recorded her saying, well, we got an understanding. I'm going to mark off two because no inspection was made. I didn't agree to that. And then I'll mark off the one that you did give me a booklet. And then I'll sign. I did that yesterday. She refused to give me this particular paper. She gave me this one saying that. She said everybody's got to sign it, but everybody is not. Well, I shouldn't say that because people are scared to talk up because they don't want to suffer like me being picked on. But she said everybody is required to sign this. But that means you have to, that means you're agreeing to them coming in there and doing some, some uh, sampling or work that is dangerous to your health, and they don't care. They hope, I'm, I'm saying maybe they're hoping that people get sick so that they won't have to worry about moving them back to the apartments after they finish renovating or moving them somewhere that they have to pay for. Who knows? But anyway, I had to give my ID again and everything. I have to give the ID again because um, they, they, I said to them that they um, threatened me, saying that it expired, and it didn't expire and everything. And... Um, and this is the paper um, that I was given. Yes, they did give me this paper, but I didn't agree for them to come in. This is the whole point of me doing this video this morning, Mr. Christian and Ali. And I didn't say I had a bug infestation, but at least they say it's other. And there is a part in here that's um, the copy of this. When you see void, that's the copy. But this is um, here. Um, let me see if I can get this. Okay. This is, um, right. It says the other. So that's fine. I can, and Rosemary is the one for Wavecrest Management. And I'm trying to explain to her, and I'm going down there today, and I'll report back. But I need a copy of the paper where I marked off to because I didn't agree to this. That's they say everybody has this, but everybody's not in my situation. I've been smart enough to keep them out. That's why I'm not walking around decrepit or something is wrong with me because I'm not letting them unearth whatever's in here. 
and I'm supposed to do that because I'm, I'm Native American black and Irish black to society. I'm supposed to let that happen, and I'm by myself, and I'm by myself because of the negligence of NYCHA causing my mother's death in two apartments, and I have evidence of that, and I should let them in? I don't think so. And Queens Bridge Houses is the one that's taken Queens NYCHA to court. And, I, and I'm very proud of those people for finally getting that done. But Williamsburg needs, something needs to be done about Williamsburg and, and stuff, about that the housing and, and the conditions here. Well, this is the part that I signed yesterday. And I signed this one, but I marked off two. And I showed you that paper here and everything. That's the reason why I'm doing the video. Okay, I'm gonna show you this place again. This is uh, the conditions. I got to chuck there because it's worse than that. So you see it, here it is. Here's parts of it. And, uh, and this is the bathroom. Some stuffing is coming out of here. The toilet is half flushing and everything. There it is. And this is uh, the conditions in here. And that's we got it. That's some sort of rust and mold, mold and rust. And uh, yeah, I cover this so I can be able to survive in here and everything. And this is the room where my mother died, and black mold was coming out of the hole. I'll show you the hole. This is the the wall come down just in 2018, but before that it didn't come down. That's the black mold there and everything where um, mold came out and my mother um, died and everything in this room. This is her bed. And uh, it's starting to peel here and it's peeling down there. And uh, this is the closet and it's starting to peel in here. And this is my bedroom, the living room, the bedroom. And yes, it's gonna fall any second. This is the living room. And that's the ceiling. That's, uh, it's, it's a hole there and I have to cover that. And I tried to cover that hole there, but you see a, a, a C-O-L-O-N-Y colony. And it formed in 2019 on to 2020 and it's crack here and then my neighbors leak water so the mold can have something to eat on they were paid to do that upstairs and it's a long story I'll tell Miss Alley about it but I tried to get them to stop and they called the um, cops on me and the cops it was all planted they said well open the door so they can go in there that's what the cops said and they said next time call us and I said why would I call you you would say, wait till business hours. It was 1.30 in the morning, and my godmother, my Irish godmother that died, um, heard all of that. But of course, she can't be here to testify. And I said, they're leaking water, and they're going to cause problems for me. And so um, that happened uh, four or five, around five months ago. And that's the uh, mold there. They can't do no lead inspection in here. That's my point. And... Um, that's the front door, and this is the conditions here in the hallway. And that's the door. The door was like that in 2015 when my mother died and before then. And this is the hallway. And this is the kitchen. The sink is when the, the sewage and, and, wall and suds was coming out. So this is a, a, a October 14, 2021 up-to-date picture of everything. And I have the chucks there so I could survive. And that's it. Um, you can look at the January 22nd video because the sink is uncovered and everything else. But this um, wall was uh, present, but it just went down in 2018, going into 2019. But this is the room where my mother died. And this is all of this. So I want... Um, respectfully to request and I want for Miss uh, Allie to see this and she could come in and see me about this um, really um, about this place so um, thank you 
um, for listening to me and, um, and hopefully you can do something for me because I need help. And my mother died under these conditions. It's worse now than 2015 because nothing was done. But i going to try to get this, the paper that I signed that I marked off number two, as the lawyer said. If I have problems with it, I'm going to let you know. If I don't, I still would have to let them in, which I'm not. And by the way, they keep harassing me, banging on the door, cursing and all that. And I have videos of that. But they put this in my door yesterday, but they can't come in here to do it. They, they're not even mentioning an apartment for me to be in because they're not going to give me an apartment. They want me to stay in here and hopefully I'll die before they can fulfill their promise of moving us somewhere and then they have to move us back after the renovations are done with the building. And I'm hoping that's not true. That's just a theory. I can't prove it, but it seems strange to me that they insist on people being in these apartments like that. So anyway, I have to go. Um, Thank you very much. And it's October, it's October 15th. I'm upset right now. It's October 15th. I'm Reed Edwards. Um, and it's under Ella Scott on YouTube. Thank you.